What's going on, everybody? This is Andrew Kayser with CSSBoss.com. Yeah, but I'm just testing to see if... Um... I literally just, like, spilled all of my life. <laughs> oh, dude. Not all of Critical mistake. That's actually an amateur mistake. As long as uh, it still works, we're good, right? Uh, where was I at? CSSBoss.com. Yeah, welcome back. I'm back been a while since you guys have seen me we're gonna take a look at firebug now to get into firebug there's a few different ways one you can right click on any part of the website and then you can go down to the it'll either say inspect or inspect element or inspect element with firebug depending on what browser you're using and depending on uh, if it's a plugin or whatnot inside of Google Chrome it just says inspect. Now, what we have here are two windows. You got this left hand window which shows your HTML and everything that is rendered on the web page. And then over on the left, right hand side, you have all the CSS that is attached to the element that you have selected from the HTML side. So right now we have this div class header content wrap selected. And you can see right here the CSS for dot header content wrap. That's the selector. And here's all the styles for that. And then you can scroll down and all of these different styles are being applied, you know, uh, cascaded into this element. Now you can add to it, uh, just like inline styles, when you do div style equals in the HTML uh, right over here. You can do background color, let's, let's just say black. You know, so like you can, you can edit things right in line. Background. And then you can kind of see right over here, it comes in, it says style equals background color green. So that's what the element style is for. And you can come through here and change anything you want. It doesn't even matter. Oops. So we'll just leave that. Come back to putting this up here. You know. Um, so <clears throat> now those are the main functions. But if you want to dig a little deeper down here across the bottom you have your HTML breadcrumbs to the element that you have selected so if I select the element above this we're gonna see this div header content wrap thing disappear oh it doesn't disappear it just gets highlighted but that's pretty cool um, I wonder if we collapse that no I'm not sure why but okay now now it's starting things are starting to disappear Maybe it just shows the next few just in case you need them. Um, so yeah, as you as you can see, as you click through, these things change, but HTML and body pretty much always stay the same. This is really helpful if you need to figure out how to write your selector. You know, it might not always be as easy as uh, the footer ID. You might need to get in very very deep let's just see yeah let's say we needed to uh, attack that one you know down here you could see you could use ul dot social lia i dot fa dot fa hyphen twitter like so using those last three things you could figure out how to select this guy right here fa twitter yeah that guy so we could probably make him bigger. Okay, so that, that definitely worked right there. What if we copy and paste this? Now we create, here's how you create a new style rule. You click on that, and it even, since we already have it selected, it has that i.fa.fa hyphen Twitter, but we're gonna go up and add ul social lia just like I talked about a second ago, 
and we're going to apply that same style and now you can see it's working and because I just was able to grab the selector from right in this little thing I mean you could do this whole thing and it'd still work I don't know if you can just copy and paste that of course you can't nope that'd be nice uh, so yeah let's uh console if there's any kind of JavaScript errors they're gonna pop up in here if things aren't loading on the website they're gonna pop up in here images broken images things like that uh, sources these are different things that are pulled from around the website to render this page all the different images CSS files JavaScript files HTML files uh, these are all WordPress themes so there's a lot of them a lot of different things going on uh, Google fonts etc you can just kind of see exactly what uh, what your page requires to load now the network page is just a uh, how your website loads so like if we hit refresh right now you can see it, it's pulling down all of our content downloading everything I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and you can see after 800 milliseconds my website's all done loading 800 milliseconds that's pretty good but look at this what is this Andrew Kaiser logo cancelled like I don't know what that means but it's whatever this is basically oh yeah so it just tells you how long each thing basically takes to download or is that this what is this network no throttling okay. I'm not sure what the difference is between the timeline and the menu or the network it's still 100 milliseconds oh 800 milliseconds um, yeah so it looks like this is just all the same thing it's kind of a different a timeline of everything that loaded so you can inspect it better oh that's kind of cool oh it, it like it breaks it breaks everything down wow that's intense all right moving up profiles don't know what that is selecting profile types let's see what happens I'm gonna have to look into that oh looks like more JavaScript debugging stuff we'll have to talk about that at a later time get more into that resources any cookies you might have you need to look at uh, any session storage I shouldn't have any local storage nope. any frames I hope I don't have any frames oh, everything looks good so security this page is not secure because uh, I don't have a HTTPS audits this is a uh, for JavaScript again so Firebug is really powerful for the three main front-end languages HTML CSS and JavaScript and what it allows you to do is basically just figure out what changes you need to make to what elements without having to dig through the style sheet it allows you to do it all right then and there and then just transfer the changes over so if you guys have any other questions you want to start digging a little bit deeper uh, I'm gonna have another video coming out shortly uh, digging a little more into how to use firebug and your actual workflow and how to solve problems with it and whatnot so keep your eye out for that make sure to click subscribe below and I'll be seeing you in the next video if uh, if you want to show some support I got t-shirts for sale let me know
They'll be on my website in the link below. Thanks a lot for watching. Andrew Kizer, CSSBoss.com. Peace out.